Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you a feature in the paid version that I like to use and how I use it in my classroom. So this feature is the note taking feature. So if you look over at your tools over here on the right, you're going to notice this one that looks kind of like a piece of paper and a pen on it right here. This is your note taking tool that you can use in your classroom. When you click on the notes, you will have a box that pops up. When that box pops up, you can click on the pen here and it takes a quick snapshot of whatever is on the screen at that moment. You can then click and type in a note and then it's done. It automatically saves. You don't have to hit enter. You can just exit out, exit, and the next time I go in, it's right there where I left it, whatever I wrote down. I can also delete it if I want to, or I can just save it there. So for me, when I use it in my classroom, I don't usually like to type if I don't have to. I do type out, like for example, if my student is having a problem with a sentence, I might type out the sentence for them. Like today, my student had a hard time using the word protect in a sentence when we were talking about an umbrella. So I typed out the sentence, an umbrella can protect me from the rain, period. So after I help her with the sentence and I type it out, I can take a quick snapshot using my notes tool. Since my sentence is already written, I don't have to type anything for my notes. So what I did was I typed out the sentence, we practiced it together, I open my note, I just click the pen and exit out. I don't have to type anything. When you click on that pen, it will still take a snapshot even if you don't write a note under it. So that's the way I like to use it because I don't have a lot of extra time to type notes as I'm teaching the class. So I type it on my screen, take a quick snapshot, it saves in my notes. Another thing that I've been thinking about doing with my classes, since a lot of times pronunciation is an issue with a lot of words, and I sometimes have a hard time remembering every word the student had trouble pronouncing. And it's also difficult to take a snapshot of that because you can't see a pronunciation error on the screen. So uh, something I thought about doing was get, coming up with a coding system, like P for pronunciation. So let's say my student was having a hard time with the word protect that was on the screen, on my slides for my lesson. I could just write a P above the word protect, take a snapshot. That way when I go back and look at my notes later, I can see, oh, they had a hard time with the pronunciation of the word protect. So that's just some ideas and ways that you could use the notes in your classroom. Also, it's good to know that the student will not see this note box. So when you open it and take the snapshot, your student will not see it. It's just something that you can see on your screen. So now that you see how you can make the notes and use the notes, let's talk about how you find them after class. So after the class is done, you've completed the lesson, there are two ways that you can find the notes that you have written. One way is on your phone or tablet. I like using my phone for my notes because one, it's actually there automatically after class. You don't have to wait for it to generate. So let me show you where you could find that in your class and app on your phone. So when you go onto your phone, let me make myself big, at the bottom you have those four parts. Let me get rid of that. If you go to the growth, which is a little Christmas tree, you see a list of all of the options that you can click on. You have a box for the notes. When you click on the notes, you can see all of your classes that you have taken notes for. So this is my test class that I did that I'm going to show you just for reference on how to find the notes. And I could click on that class. And then I can see every single note that I took for that class. I can scroll through and I can look at each one and use for my reference. This is actually the class I'm in right now. I haven't even finished the class 
and the note has already generated. So I can see these immediately if I want to take notes on another screen for after class, for reference for my next class, I can see these right away. So the second way that you can check your notes is in the class report. So let me exit out of this classroom and I'm going to go to my courses. Since I am in this class right now, I cannot see my notes or my class report. But remember, I was able to see those notes on my phone right away. So I'm going to just go to my test class I did earlier, and I'm going to go to the report. When I open my class report and I scroll down, first I see my Blackboard writing, just like I do all the time when I go into my class teaching report. And then next are the teaching notes. So I can go through and I can see every note that I wrote for that class. And then I can use that note to help me write my feedback. So again, two places I can see my notes on my phone under growth and then also in the teaching report, the same place you would go to write your evaluation if you choose to do evaluations for your students. So those are just a couple ways that you can help yourself with feedback to your parents, helping you remember what areas that the student needs to work on, what sentences, words, pronunciation that they need help during class. I don't know about you, but I have a hard time remembering everything that the student needed help with, especially when I have back-to-back -back classes. I don't have a lot of time to even type notes between my classes. So those snapshot pictures in the notes help me go back and jog my memory of what the student needed help with so I can communicate to, to the parent or help me plan for my next class. So hopefully, if you're using the paid version of Classin, you might find a way to make those notes use useful and beneficial to you as well. If you have any questions about the notes, just let me know. Bye, everyone.